Welcome to Santi is for mathematics. In this lecture, we will discuss about what is the homogeneous function. An expression of the form a zero x raised to n, a one x raised to n minus one y, a two x raised to n minus two y square, up to so on, a n minus one x y raised to n minus one plus a n y raised to n. In this expression, every term is of degree n, and that's why it is called homogeneous function of degree n in variable x and y. This expression you can common out x raised to n, so that can be written in the form of x raised to n a zero plus a one y by x. Plus a two y by x whole square up to so on a n y by x raised to n. So this is nothing but the we can write as x raised to n. And if I call this is as some function, which is a function of y by x, so that is y of y by x. So if this expression if I re denoted as f of x y, then if f of x y can be also written in that form, then also we can say that. The function is homogeneous function. Instead of commoning out from this expression, we have common out x raised to n. So we have this expression we have written. If you common out y raised to n from it, then we have the expression of this type. Y raised to n is common. You have it is a zero x by y raised to n a one. X by y raised to n minus one. A two x by y raised to n minus two. Up to so on. A. So this is also in the expression of y raised to n pi of x by. Y. That means the f of x y. If you can write down any of this form, that is the first expression we have written. If you can write down that is in this form. If you can write down in this form, that is y by x, or if you can write down as y raised to n some other function z of x by y, then we can say that the function f is a homogeneous function of degree n in variable x and y. For example, if I have given a function f of x y is equal to x cube cos Y by x. So this is a homogeneous function of degree three in variable x and y. So this is the definition of homogeneous function. There are some another way also you can check whether the given function is homogeneous or not by by considering this expression f of t of x y t of y will be t e power m f of x y for any m. Will have this expression. Then we can say that f is homogeneous function of degree m in variable x and y. So in that well, also we can say that the given function is homogeneous. For example, let us say given you example, f of x y is equal to x square plus y square upon x plus y. So here, if you can go by this. Expression, then you have to replace whenever x is there, you have to replace so t x, and whenever y is there, you have to replace t y. So that will be t x square plus t y square upon t x plus t y. So in the numerator, t square is common out. In the denominator, t is common out, and the, all other expression will have the same thing. So we'll have t into f of x y, which is we have a constant. So therefore, we can say that f is a homogeneous function of degree one and in variable x. So that is also one of the way you can just see this. Also, another way you just common out from the numerator x square from the numerator. So that is x square. In the denominator is common out is x. So there is is x. So in the numerator is left is one plus y by x whole square, and the denominator is left is one plus y by x. So you can say that this is some function, and so we'll have x 
into phi of y by x where phi is a function phi of some parameter phi of t we can write as 1 plus t square upon 1 plus t so in that manner also we can represent or we can say that the given function is homogeneous function of degree 1 as we have defined the homogeneous functions for degree m in two variables we can define the homogeneous functions in n variable also let's say this is the function x1 x2 up to xn is the n variable function real value function is given to you if you want to say this function is homogeneous then it has to be satisfied this condition that is t of x1 x2 t of x1 t of x2 t of x3 up to so on t of xn so this is t of tx1 tx2 up to txn which we can write as t power m f of x1 x2 up to xn then also we can say that f is a homogeneous function of degree m in variable x1 x2 up to xn this expression is also can be written as f of x1 x2 up to xn also can be written as x raised to m phi of x2 by x1 this is x1 raised to m x2 by x1 x3 by x1 up to so on x raised to n by x1 so in that manner also we can represent the function then also we can say that f is a homogeneous function of degree m in variable x1 x2 for x for example suppose the function is given you f of x y z is equal to x square plus y square plus z square so you just note that if you can start with t of x t of y t y t z you can start with f of t of f of tx dy tz we have tx square plus ty square as per the definition of the function by substituting the value of xyz as a tx dy tz we have this and take common of t square it will be x square plus y square plus z square we have so that is test t square f of xyz so hence we can say that f is homogeneous function of degree 2 in variable xyz so in that way the more than one variable functions also can be defined as a homogeneous function. Uh, one should note that here this log of, if I define a log of function that is x square plus y square plus z square upon xy plus yz plus xz. You can check that this is a homogeneous function of degree 0. But this function is not homogeneous, that is sine of xy upon x square plus y square. So this function is not homogeneous, but this is the homogeneous functions of uh, degree 0 that you can verify yourself. So in this lecture, we have defined a homogeneous function only. So that's it for this video. If you like this video, please press the like button. If you have any comment, suggestion or question, please drop down in a comment box below.